Admiral Piet. Let's everyone welcome Admiral Piet to the stage. Listen, listen to that. Listen to that response. When did you find out that Piet was such a fan favorite? Well, um, <clears throat> in the original script of uh, Jedi, he didn't appear. And I got a call from George Lucas saying, we've had a lot of fan reaction to the character of Piet. Would you like to be in the next movie? So I said, well, yes. And he said, I don't have any script for you. You have to turn up and I'll write you some scenes. So we did. And so you turned up, was it Jabba's Palace? Was that what was filming when you went in to talk to yeah, George? Yeah, they were rehearsing Jabba eating the toads. <laughs> <laughs> so Jabba's Which, eating some toads and George sits down and starts writing? Yeah, and let me tell you, the toads were as big as rabbits. You couldn't <laughs> hold them in one hand. You had to hold them in two. And how did they taste? Was it, was it okay? Or? Well, I don't know, but I heard some very strange noises from inside Jabba. <laughs> So, people are a, a big fan of your character, despite the fact that he's one of the he's one of the baddies. Why do you, why do you think that? Why do you where do you think that response comes from? I just think he's a man doing his job, and all the people out there doing their jobs understand that. Yes. Yeah. You can. He looks in a little bit in over his head. Yeah. Yeah. He's learning how to survive in a very very naughty world. Yeah. It's it's. it's gets promoted in kind of an awkward way. Yeah. Yeah. But that was Darth Vader's way. We all understood that. Yeah. There's this there's this great humanity that Piet has that I think that I think we connect to and to and to craft that into a villain like you did I think is 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 really brilliant. Do you think that's part of the trick of playing a villain? Oh, that was just Ken Coley being scared. I oh, think. yeah. That was just very authentic. What yeah, we're but on the move is they accept whatever you do. <laughs> Fantastic. Somebody once said to me, uh, Ken, I saw you with the Darth Vader in the scene, and uh, when you were frightened of Vader, it was so good. I said, I wasn't frightened of Vader. I was frightened of the dialogue. But it works in we the movie. We had movies. David Prowse. He's like seven feet tall. Yeah. 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 So uh, return, end of Return of the Jedi. Is, it, is, that, is that the end of Piet, or do you think George had other plans for him? Well, I'm still here, George, if you have any <laughs> ideas. You go to quite a few conventions. It's the it's yeah. way you travel around a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever get recognized for other characters you have played, like Lord Nelson, for example? Yeah, and um, I did a film with Clint Eastwood, Firefox. Yes, yeah, Firefox. Uh, you were the, the I Russian. just changed uniform. Yeah. And spent another movie looking up at a man and threatening him because <laughs> he's six feet four. Yeah, it's a tall drink of water. Clint and I'm Eastwood. only six feet, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so which is which is your favorite Star Wars film? Is it still Empire? Oh, Empire, yeah. 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 I, everybody I've talked to tell me that's the favorite one. Yeah, it's that one has such a such a lasting appeal. It's such a well-made yeah. film. And it was so beautiful to look at. Yes. Yes, absolutely. So have you have you have you stayed in touch with uh, many of your fellow actors from Empire? No, we meet at these things. Yeah, this is kind of the yeah. the get together. Another good reason for doing them. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Ken, thank you very much for coming over and talk Hello. to us.